watching the passing of Peregrine Percival. He died in his office in the morning of the 24th of April, 2020. There, there never has and never will be another man like him. May he rest in peace. Goodbye, brother. What is it, Dad? Now that Peregrine is dead, who's to be my, my deputy? If I am to have an off day, Peregrine's just gonna rise from the grave and finish signing documents for me. <laughs> Come on. Let's, who, who, let's see who we can go through. Well, first there's Daniel Anderson. He's a good friend of mine, and after my grandfather died and, and my father was too young to run the railway, his father ran it for him. Next is Spencer Percival, Peri Peregrine's brother, but has no experience running railways, with, with, with railway stuff. Finally, there's Trevor Scott. He is my father's friend's son. That's like hiring your mom's friends, uncle's sisters, nieces, rabbits, nephews, owner as your permanent bodyguard. I... I don't get it. It doesn't matter. Anyways, um, any experience? Yes, he wasn't charged at l before he was ousted three months into his c control. Don't you think it's kind of obvious who you need? Yes. I think so. You called me, Sir Topham? Just Topham. Take a seat, Mr. Anderson. Just Daniel. What does he want to speak about? I would like to appoint you as a deputy to me and the railway. What? Yes, you heard me right. As of all my options, I think you're the most experienced. Why, thank you, sir. I mean, Topham. You're welcome. Hey, Dad. What was a chat with Topham about? I'm now the deputy to Topham. Cool. Oh, well done, Daniel! Thanks, Helen. Um, Liam? Yeah? Can you help your mum with, with, with dinner, please? <sighs> Do I have to? That wasn't a request. Fine. Good boy. You guys heard the news? No. Topham has put Daniel as deputy to him. That's nice. I'm not lying. We know you're not. Is he not? But unlike you, we've had a very busy day. We need rest. Yeah, I get that. Hope I I hope others like the news. What? What is it? Topham didn't hire me as his de as, as deputy to the island. Why? I was his brother. You know, bloodline isn't always why people rise to power. Take Henry the Seventh, for example. He shut up, you. What is this? What, sir? He hired that Anderson guy instead of me. I was the head of the L and the R. Well, sir, you were fired for saying shut up, you. Wait. Backtrack. What was that example you gave me, or bloodlines or something? It was about Henry the Seventh. He defeated Richard the Third in the Battle of Bolsworth in 1485. He's only slightly related to him. For Edward the Third was the ancestor of Richard and Henry the Fifth. Henry married Henry the Seventh's grandmother. So yeah, 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 I don't, I don't need anything else. Are you saying I should challenge Daniel to a fight? I mean, I never said that. Spencer, you're a genius. Topham, come in. Good evening. I decided to launch an investigation into Peregrine's death. Why? I checked records, his health was almost in tip top shape. No heart diseases, no flu cases, nothing. The worst thing he got was a common cold when he was 13. Your point being? I think there was sabotage involved. Are you trying to say he was assassinated? Precise. Oi! Danny! Down in now! What the? Get out! Now! Oh Jesus Christ. What is it that you want? I want a scrap. I wouldn't, I'm a black belt. I'm a green belt. My attacks are as sharp as scissors. I'm as tough as rock.
Beat scissors. Ah, my back. I will be back. Like Henry the Seventh, I will win. Oh God! What did you say to him? What do you mean? You did that history nerd nonsense, didn't you? Maybe. You told about Bosworth, didn't you? Maybe. Me to stop giving me his reading lessons. Listen, don't say anything to make to make him think he can break my back again. Okay? Got it. Did you hear what happened last night? Hear it? I saw it. Look, Farm McCall having sex. Spencer Percival and Daniel had a very short fight last night. Ooh. Hey, Sean. Did you hear about the scrap last night? I feel my legs! Mr. Anderson! Ah, uh, um, yeah, I did. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Uh, PTSD and whatnot. What's, a uh, PTSD? Oh. Post-traumatic stress disorder, going through traumatic events, mainly in war. And what war did you fight in, sir? Gulf War in 1991. I was in the famous Operation Granby. My battalion was sent out in a civilian region. That's where I met Topham. He was in one of the houses and had a summer home in Saudi Arabia. He was on the floor after an explosion. I told him to get up, so I wrapped my arm around his shoulders and started walking out the building. We walked around the mines on the way in, but not out. See, we were under heavy fire from all sides, so I wasn't focusing on the ground. I stepped in the mine. I heard it. I heard it, so I picked up Topham and threw, and threw him to my su sergeant. I knew I, I, I knew I couldn't escape the mind's wrath, so I stepped off, blew my legs clean off. I was lying there on, under heavy fire from, from the Iraqi forces. Fortunately, my sergeant was kind enough to, to pull me out of, of the field, risking his own life to save mine. Wow. What story? Duck, your whistle blew two minutes ago. That was your whistle, Gordon. Was it? Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Goodbye, all. So I've got an, autop an, uh, an autopsy report back on Peregrine. And we have something suspicious here. There are traces of cyanide in his system, a small prick in the back of his neck. Interesting. Very interesting. What do you think it could be? A poison dart, perhaps? His window was open when he died, so it possibly could have been open before he was shot. This, this, this could be explained for the highest temperature on that day was 38 to 42 degrees Celsius. Are any houses near, near his? The closest one is a mile away. People would have noticed him on the roads to, to his house since they're, they're all motorways. Who does the house belong to? One well, Lionel Poole and his roommate James Jones. So send an email to the island government. I need, I need a search warrant for the, for the for that house. In the meantime, find out about your friends, Li about our friends, Lionel and James. Understood. Are you nearly done yet, Salty? Yeah, just putting on the last truck. Push toad and his god will hit the switch for the brakes. Pass it on. Push toad and his god will hit the switch for the brakes. Pass it on. Push Toad and his car will hit the switch for the brakes. Got it? Oof! Ah! Mr. Chuck, that wasn't very nice. Keep in line, you. Sorry, boss. 
Honestly, my even st start setting off in the morning having trouble with you all. Toad? Yes, Mr. Oliver. Are you ready? Yes, Mr. Oliver. And away you go. Get on it. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Hey, Ollie, where's your Blake rod? Coupling snapped. Tried pulling the train, but it wouldn't budge. Here, I guess I pulled too hard. The coupling snapped and rocked me off down the line. I see. A truck problem? Absolutely. I, I, I thought we'd be getting better after Scruffy's relief. I bet you Apparently not. They seem to be getting worse. Snapping couplings. This will take hundreds of pounds to repair every time. Fair point. Since he's back, he can be influencing more than be he can be influencing them more than before. What's happening, sir? You'll see, Percy. You'll see. I've got a train to pull in five. You better be quick. So here it is. Hello, one and all. You. Brought us down here just to see an engine. He isn't any engine, he's a bullet train from Japan. His name is Lokulo. Good morning, I'm guessing you are Sir Topham. Why, well, yes. This is Percy. Hello. This is Gordon. Good evening. And here's James. J. J James? Sorry, sir, I've got my train to pull. Honestly. Well, welcome to the railway, Rokuro. Glad to be of service, sir. Whoa, whoa! Really? Such a bad train. Wow. What a story. Wait, wrong end. Is it still recording? Oh. Focus on the green thing. Lincoln boots. Focus, you dumb camera. Oh my god. Stop focusing on Molly. No one cares about Molly. Molly's a minor character. Faster! 
How did that happen? Huh? How did that happen? It collapsed. Did you have anything to do with this? Did you have anything to do with this? Did any of you have anything to do with this? It was you, wasn't it? It was you. Faster, fast! I'm gonna blue tack that bridge. I have a new laptop script. Eh?